Well, lawyers acting for the former Thai Prime Minister say Thaksin Chinawat wants to see the government push ahead with plans for a referendum on changes to the constitution. Thaksin, who's still in exile, said he's confident that the referendum would produce a yes vote. Meantime, the parliament in Bangkok has been debating that possibility of a referendum this week, with strong opposition coming from the Democrat Party. We're well, joining us now in Bangkok is our Thai correspondent Tony Cheng. And Tony, why is the ruling party pushing for a referendum in the closing weeks of the year especially? And if it happens, when could this referendum take place? Well, this is uh, one of their campaign platforms when they ran in 2011. Uh, the, the Per Thai leading party and uh, I think they're very committed to it although interestingly we've seen uh, during this parliamentary debate not surprisingly the, the opposition Democrats very opposed to this they say uh, this is uh, something they don't want to see go ahead uh, we've also seen some uh, dissension within the ranks of Per Thai uh, most notably the deputy Prime Minister Chalam coming out and saying he didn't feel that there was a need for a referendum and that any constitutional change that needed to be made could be made within the framework of the existing constitution. Uh, that, however, was, was battered away by the Prime Minister Ying Luck Shinawat, uh, although she herself also expressed some concern uh, that the referendum wouldn't get this kind of support that it needed. It needs to get at least 50% of the electorate uh, to vote for it uh, if it's to be accepted. And of course, 50% of those people would have to accept uh, the, the notion, uh, which in this case is that the, the people would support. Uh, or actually it's like uh, the changes proposed by the government for the referendum. We don't yet know what those changes are, of course, uh, and we don't yet know when the referendum is. Uh, the possible date is probably in June next year, uh, after, before Parliament is um, reformed again next August. But uh, again, this is really very baby steps along this process, and there's been quite a lot of criticism in the papers here in Thailand about the fact that this process has been delayed for so long and we're at this stage which is still very unclear. Well amending the constitution is supposed to be part of a wider reconciliation, a reconciliation that's been uh, distinctly lacking in Thai politics for many years now. Um, you did mention there that the details of proposed changes aren't still clear at this time but given that Thaksin Chinawat is pushing uh, so hard for this, where exactly does the Prime Minister's brother himself a prime minister, um, stand to benefit. What's in it for him? Well, one of the key areas that we think Per Thai wants to change is a part of the constitution that was put in place by the military when they f uh, wrote the last constitution in 2007 that basically absolved them of any guilt in case of fu future investigations into that military coup. But that clause could, once removed, could